Hello and welcome. I hope you guys and girls are well and enjoying your day. What have you up to? And you join me here on American Truck Simulator. And we have a load of sugar going from here to here. Should hopefully be a relatively quick run, but you know how things go on American Truck Simulator. I hope you guys and girls are all well and enjoying your day. I'm just going to go quiet now. And I'm going to fire up this beast. And as you can see, we have hit Sim Dash up and running. Yay! Right, okay. I will talk to you guys and girls, reference some aspects. Let me just. Let me. Not that one. That one. That's better. Reset track IR. Mirrors aren't configured on this yet. I've got to fig configure them. They're not great. But I'll do that off screen. I won't mess about too much because we are losing light. Uh, I'll put this, those lights on. I don't think we need those lights on yet. So. As, as you can see, let's show you, this thing is brand spanking new. Let me just go through that. Uh, there we go. That'll do. Right. Let's do a trailer tuck text. Now, for, if you want this engine, you should gonna hear in a minute and it may uh, remind you of something I'm not going to say anything I might insert a clip you never know when we get to that moment don't know why I'm indicating but just in case might hear it you might not I've still got some bits and pieces I need to sort of like suss out in the new build reference sound aspects I know my last couple of test videos the sound wasn't great I was having issues with XSplit but I have managed to resolve them now for some odd reason I don't know why um, it, uh, ready to turn left. Turn left. To stop, but I don't know why. Get ready to turn right. Yeah, um, it wasn't allowing me until it was recording my native aspect ratio. Reason being, because I wasn't putting a like a title to the um, to the uh, resolution, and it's fine now. It works fine. And I was trying to do it on my number pad, and it was just not working. But it's got it working now. That's all good and um, good to go. Um, OBS is working perfectly fine as well. Um, consider it's a free software. Um, I've got no complaints from it. It's a very good software. Um, Turn left. And I might come back to use that in the future, you never know. Now I've got a new rig, it might run a bit better than it used to. Um, Get out of here. Um, gonna let me out. Yeah, I've managed to sort that out. Uh, sort out the recording aspects and everything else. We get a picturing because we're losing light quickly, both in real life and in game life. Um, Go 
goes straight on. Yeah. Oh, I had to change just as I get there, doesn't it? Get creep back in on my side. Keep yeah. right and then turn right. But again, I'll go quite turn a little right. bit here. And let's listen listen to it go through the gears. What does the gear shift remind you of? I'll insert a clip here. Pick up your visual scanning. Here they come. Watch it, you've got one on your tail. <laughs> of what it reminds me of. Um, let me know if you agree or not, but that's what it reminds me of. If I can't find a clip, it reminds me of um, the like the the pulse rifles on Star Wars, pulse rifles or the big guns on like the Millennium Falcon. One of the two. I know it's that sort of sound. Let's wind the window up. Wrong one. Oh, the window was up. Hang on, let me just wind it down again. Sounds nice, I like it, I like it a lot. There we go. I'm gonna get a photo in actually before I continue on more. Yeah, so with aspects to the recording side of things, that's sorted. Uh, editing, however, is still a bit of an issue. Let me grab my keyboard. Because of the aspect ratio I'm recording, it's um, it's been problematic, but I will try and resolve it. Problem is, looking at the video, the last couple of test videos, and I'm sorry about that, and I apologise in advance um, about all those test videos. Let's get this photo in. There we go. Go back to putting that back down. But watching them videos, I've now kind of ascertained the best course to do it. Now I can actually record it either either with OBS or XSplit in my native now. I've sorted that out. That's great. Um, get this cruise control on shall we it's about 75 along here so I'm probably gonna go about 60 65 but let me get that fast they're on the sides are on I'll wait till a bit later to get the other main lights on right 70 should do it 60 Pull out in front of me, of course. Yeah, I've definitely got to adjust these mirrors. They're alright, but they're just a bit limited. I can't really see what's going on on that corner at all. 
I did a mod version of this, it's very similar, it had the split screen in the middle though, uh, but very similar um, to this. Yeah, so going back to, well, now I've got, now, oh, it's going to get me to stop. I've got to sort out, try and get the editing sorted out, and then, but looking at the videos, the best course I could really take, and I say the best course I could really take, is, um, is actually just doing it the way which is recording my native because I'm happy and I can play it in my native um, then edit it to 1920 to 1080p there we go good to go oh want to take it leave it out of gear Turn off that. Caution. I'm speeding. Speed. Yeah, no surprise there. Because I noticed back to the way YouTube works, I've no. Shush. Speed. I'm not going. To, okay, it's 15, and I'm going 23. I know. I want to try and get some speed up for this run, ramp, otherwise I'm going to be stuck in here. <coughs> anyway, yeah, so, um, yeah, once I get the editing side stuff done, well, saying that, as I say, going back to what I was saying. Sorry, I'm sidetracked and getting distracted and sidetracked and getting distracted. Because the way the YouTube works, it's better for me to render it in a 1920 by 1080p aspect ratio. Um, so you guys and girls will have to let me know. If I can get it to render in the same aspect that I'm recording in, and you guys and girls prefer that, then, great. Um, again, once I get it so I can do that, then you, then it will work, and you'll see for yourselves. Um, I just noticed it's a lot easier reference. Well, not easier, but it's um, let's set this cruise control around about seventy. We were going seventy initially. Come on, girl. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a lot less bother if you have it set that way. It doesn't, um, well, it's going to, it looks, well, it just doesn't look odd. But it does look odd at the same token. Let's put some lights on before I get done for having no lights on. It's hard to explain, it kind of, the way it works, and it kind of squeezes everything in. But, looking at the videos, the test videos, it's not that much of a concern. I was probably worrying too much about nothing, in a sense. It worked better with widescreen TVs, but... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Still got my cough. Um, but, because YouTube mainly this native sort of like best is 1920 by 1080p so that's probably the best way to upload it but I will continue to work on that don't worry I haven't given up but my light's actually on don't look on, but might be because the sun's directly in my eyes and I can't see them. Keep left. I'm keeping left, I'm keeping left. Uh, 
A um, couple other things. I got myself a new seat. Um, not, it's fairly comfortable. It's not a gaming seat. It's just a regular office seat. The only downside to it, it is... Um, It is a bit deeper than my other seat, right. so you're going to find, oh well, I find that because it is a little bit deeper, my leg kind of, sort of like, it's right up to where my knees are, so because of that, it kind of, I have to reposition myself to just make sure my leg, the back of my leg isn't being pinched by the seat, otherwise I find I overstretch from my pedal. Other than that, nice and comfy seat. Weren't cheap, but weren't massively expensive like some of the seats are either. Um, what I did, aspect to my old seat, I stripped all the bits off it and I used the base. Because my new seat, the way that the arm is, I can't no longer... get my uh, shifter mount that I made to fit onto the actual arm of the seat. So I used the base of the original seat uh, to put the shifter mount that I've got onto that and then I've kind of got some bungee rope or bungee ties to tie it to the seat so then it doesn't move around. Sounds a bit of a faff, and is a bit of a faff, admittedly. It doesn't look great, but it it frees up the seat, and uh, in a sense, and it gives me a bit more space to work with as well. Yeah. Reference keyboard and everything else. Hoping it's this next right. But the lights are working because I can now see them. Not very exit bright, right. but and they then are exit right. Also, I had a bit of an issue with my new build reference noise. Exit right. Um, The pump, well I thought, it, I couldn't figure out what was the pump until I sort of got closer to it and figured out what was going on. Right. The pump was making a hell of a whining noise. I can turn right on red but there is someone waiting to go so I'll wait until so he's gone or, if he's, or is, he into, is he going left. Can't see. Don't think he is. No, he's got off, setting off. Right, he's gone so I'm good to go. Double trailer. Yeah. Yeah, it was making a hell of a whining noise, and I couldn't figure out what was going on reference to it until I went into the BIOS and. Um, I realised that the the pump was set to is it W P W M or M W P or whatever it was when it should be D C. Um, so I set it to D C and smart. Noise went straight away, and I was like, brilliant! That's absolutely brilliant. It was driving me crazy. It was literally driving me crazy, and I was literally. It got to that point. Where even I wasn't playing the computer because it was affecting me when I wasn't on the computer. I kept on thinking the computer's off, but yet I can still hear it in my head. And even my headphones on, I could still hear it. I guess I turn here. Yeah, I know the customer's expecting it. Oh, is it there? It says here. 
Oh, it's the next left, right. Glad I didn't turn there. Stop. Break on. Take care of gear. Don't want to burn the gearbox to bits. Yeah, so. Yeah, it was affecting me so much. I didn't want to play the computer. And I was like, well, what do I do now? I can't. And so I said, do I, we've got two options. Either I can just take the pump out, or take the whole cooler out and pump out. Just go back to air cooler and it's probably quieter. Or just learn to live with it. And thankfully, once I figured that out, I was like, yes, ultimate quiet nurse. And it only come on when it really needs to, because basically it was set set the pump to 100%, um, which it doesn't really need that. It works on a very, and it wears out the pump a lot quicker doing that as well. So now it's on a variable rate. So now pump will increase and decrease with with system demand. So as the CPU gets hotter, you can let me in. Or am I stuck out here? Hello? Open the gates. Oh, there he goes. Six time. Maybe he's asleep. There's no security guard in there, that's probably why. Right, anyway. Ah, oh, it's one of these doofers. You have to kind of get security clearance. These are fun. Kind of like a board, um, border point checking. Break on. Enter for the win. Thank you. Break off. So that's all sorted. So I've got a nice new seat, nice new system. Where on earth do I go now? Through there? I'm guessing I'll go through there. Or do I go round? I'm guessing I'll go through that gate and then round. Yeah, nice new seat, nice new... Um, Computer. I've just got to um, sort of work out the TV problems reference, not the sound of the computer, but the sound of my recording. I've adjusted it and adjusted it. I just need to let me in. Please let me in because I'm stuck if you don't. It's not going to be one of these really silly take ages to open gates, is it? I guess I'm driving round there then because I can't drive around the other way. This is where I wish I had my de developer thing on so I could actually see a path. Let me just back up a bit. This is not a wise decision. Not the doubles. Why won't you let me in? Maybe it's because I'm on the wrong side of the gate, or maybe it's a one way in, one way out. Joker. Right, I'm gonna swing this round then. Right, that's about as far as I can go before the trailer really goes nuts. Swing it round in here, plenty of space to spin it. You may notice the the camera juggles a bit, as you, I can see it. Um, thankfully, it's not massively bad, but it's because obviously the way that my wheel configuration is now.
I've got to turn the developer thing back on so I can walk around proper. Because I don't. Safe and sound. Yeah, I know we're safe and sound. We're here, but how do I get round there? I'm gonna go have to go have a quick look round here quickly. According to that mini map, there is a way round. So that's gonna have a quick look round here. This is looking promising. I won't go massively fast, in fact I'll turn my hazards on. This is a oh look at that! It's an airport thingy! I think you can use that. That's why they should check my security. That's the first time I've seen one of them. Took my head through the window. I hope I can get round here. If not, I'm going to be still stuck. Just on another fence. See, there's another fence up here. Please let me through. Or can we go up there? We may be able to go up there. Ah, oh, nuts! That's the right place, but I can't... It's the wrong way. Seems legit. So I can go in here. Right, okay. Not a big issue. I might be able to spin it around. Right, let's go through here quickly and see if this yard opens it. I don't want to get stuck down here though. I really don't want to get stuck down there. Technically, so yard should open out. According to that mini map, this yard opens out. Yes, right, okay. It's a bit of a, bit of a um, maze, isn't it? Right, okay. Now I can spin it round in here. I don't know why it wouldn't let me through the gates. Okay. Okay, this is where I was. Okay. I wasn't sh You see now, you saw me earlier, I looked down here, but I wasn't sure I could drive down here. Yeah, I've definitely got to put my developer thing back on so I can get out and walk. Because that's what I'd do in real life. I'd have just got out the truck and walk. Especially if I'm not sure about the yard. Right. As you're all laughing, your heads off. I'm glad I entertained you. further forward. Cool. Right, hazards off. Lights off. Engine off. And detach trailer. Excellent! Wasn't late, good. See results now, continue. If it went on longer than normal, I apologise. As you can see, or as you've just seen, I got lost <laughs> in the yard. But, um, anyway, uh, I will leave, if I didn't mention it before, I will leave the links to the Creech Bum engine sound down below in the, in, in the description down below for his video on the engine sound. Please, by all means, go and visit him. And if you want to subscribe to him, go ahead, go by all means, do that. If you want to download it again, feel free to download it, but download it at your own risk if I didn't mention that before. Um, but I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this episode. If you did, please feel free to like. If you didn't enjoy it for any reason, any reason at all, 
please feel free to dislike please leave comments down below either way so that I'm aware and I can try to improve in the future if you're new to my channel and see future episodes of this or anything else that I'm working on please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and if you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this guys and girls please feel free to share it helps me out and I don't mind you sharing I'll see you guys and girls in the next one TTFN Thank <laughs> you.